Hi everyone, this is Trevor from the Bird Nerds here, and uh, I thought I'd go over an image processing tutorial for some bird photography. Um, in this uh, episode, if you will, um, I'm going to go over some sharpening and noise techniques that I like to use on uh, pretty much every bird photography image I, I take. So uh, I'm just reviewing some photos we took yesterday. Um, it's early April and uh, we've got this um, beautiful male downy woodpecker on a tree here and uh, the lighting is nice he got the catch light in his eye so when I'm going through my photos here in Adobe Bridge uh, what I the first thing I look for is the pose uh, so if he's kinda looking away you can see he's, he's got his head dug into the tree which which might be okay too if you're going for that but what I'm looking for is just a nice pose where you can see as much of his, his body uh, as possible and then more importantly catch light in his eye and uh, to fully light him up and light up his feathers and his, and his full color um, so then when I do have the pose I'll, I'll zoom in and make sure that his eye is in focus and his beak and you can even see the little bits of wood in, in his uh, or whatever it is in his beak there uh, that's Crit the, this is considered to be critically sharp this this photo so um, that passes that inspection so I'm gonna bring it into uh, Adobe Photoshop so by double clicking the image in Adobe Bridge it opens up uh, Adobe Camera Raw so this photo was taken with uh, a Canon 7D uh, and I'm using uh, Camera Raw 9.8 here and uh, so the first thing I'll do is uh, zoom in and uh, it this looks really great this is uh, this is actually a really great photo so I'll go straight to uh, actually I'll check the white balance uh, I think I'm gonna keep it as shot if you can see if I switch it to daylight here that added a little more color so if we go back and forth I'm just holding alt to zoom out here I might go somewhere in between the temperature between daylight and auto I like the coloring there so I'll go to the sharpening tab here the detail and I'm just gonna sharpen it slightly up to 30 on the slider here uh, next I'll just go down go down these sliders here and make any adjustments although because this photo is so great I won't have to do a lot I'll bump the shadows up just a little bit just to get some more detail in here I'm gonna leave the exposure and the contrast I might bump up the clarity to up to two and then vibrance and saturation very minimal three and five okay so because this tutorial is basically on sharpening I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that for now so I'm going to open this image and uh, so we did sharpen it uh, ever so slightly so as you can see I'm at a hundred percent it's very it's a very sharp photo so now the next thing to do is to it, although it's pretty good the noise back here in the background we want to smooth that out a little bit we want but we don't want to take away any detail on on the woodpecker and for that matter on the tree so this is where the magic happens I'm gonna open up this image again but this time on the detail tab I'm gonna turn the sharpening all the way down and bump up the uh, luminance noise reduction to 15 now let's have a look at what that does to the background sky okay it's smoothed it out and I might go a little further yeah it's a nice smooth background sky and it has we have lost a little detail in the woodpecker although it's not that bad uh, but we're gonna combine the two so I've got my my second image open here that's less sharp with a smoother background sky I'm gonna control a to select all control C to copy control V to paste so I've got this layer on top my less sharp smooth layer on top now I'm going to going to um, again select all control copy my background layer my sharp layer 
and paste it on top of my smooth layer. So as you can see, when I toggle this layer on and off, you can see the, no the, the subtle noise in the background disappear. So what do we want to do here? We want to keep this soft layer on top and then use the eraser brush to uh, remove the softness from the sharp areas of the photo. So I'm at an opacity of, uh, actually I'm going to use an opacity of, of 100% here. And I'm just going to, oh, I've got my sharp layer on top. We need my smooth layer on top. Yeah. Okay, so the smooth layer is on top and I'm going to remove, uh, I'm going to erase into the sharpness, if you will. So we'll have the best of both worlds. And you can really be selective of where you sharpen too, because certain areas uh, you can leave soft, but obviously these fine feathers, I want to pick up that detail. So you really have control of where, where is sharp and where isn't. What a beautiful bird. I love, uh, I love the red on the male's head. Okay, I'm just gonna get, make the brush a little smaller here for the beak, I don't wanna lose that detail. Perfect. Okay, so now he's super razor sharp and the sky is, uh, is has been improved. Now I'm just gonna use a bigger brush here and sharpen up the tree. I can be less precise about this. It's very, uh, you know, pe people aren't looking at this photo for the tree. Okay, there we go. So we've got this, our sharp bird um, with a softer background. And uh, it's a subtle change, but uh, it really makes a big difference. So I hope that this technique has been uh, useful to you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section. And uh, if you also, if you want to see more uh, bird photography processing tutorials, let me know. And uh, I'd be happy to, uh, to shoot and share a few more. So thanks for watching.